I've got someone on the case to find me a man. It's my dad. <laughs> my father loves to scour LinkedIn and find South Asian men for me. He calls me every Sunday and he's like, Shani, Shani, I found this great chap for you, okay? His name is Baba Kumar. He is in the biotech too. <laughs> you know, maybe you can connect with him and the connections will happen and you will connect. And I was like, stop saying connect. He's like, oh no, you know, you on the book of the faces, the Instagram, you know, something will develop. Something will happen, it will develop. And I was like, yeah, Appa, in this country, what will develop is a restraining order. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. During COVID, I got real worried about my dad, okay? My mom passed away a few years ago, and so he's all by himself in Auburn, Alabama. But he made a really good friend, and his name is Dan. And Dan is a tall, white, ex-Air Force military guy. <laughs> and my dad is a small, brown Oompa Loompa <laughs> that was an ex-goat breeder. <laughs> so how do these two come together? Well, here's the thing. It's a Hindu tradition that after someone passes, you do a ceremony 30 days afterwards, and a priest comes down and does it in your home. And the priest sent my father a list of items to get together. And I don't know if you guys know much about Auburn, Alabama, but it's not really the hot spot for Hindu ritual items. <laughs> and one of the items on his list was 13 banana leaves. And so my dad walked around the neighborhood and he found a house with a banana tree. And so he walked up to the door and he knocked and he was like, excuse me, can I have 13 banana leaves? <laughs> this dude walks out and he's like, sure, you can have as many as you like. Why are you needing banana leaves? And my dad just says, my wife died, period. <laughs> like as if he was gonna wrap the murdered body in banana leaves. <laughs> but that's my dad's best friend, Dan. And at the height of COVID, he called me up and he was like, Shawnee, Shawnee, guess what? Me and Dan, we went to Columbus, Georgia. And Auburn, Alabama is 35 minutes away from Columbus, Georgia. And I was like, dad, Why'd you go to Columbus, Georgia? And he was like, okay, I lied, okay? I told Dan, we don't have a Macy's. Columbus has a Macy's. I want to do a little shopping, so let's go. So we went. <laughs> but I'm not really trying to buy anything. So then we parked the car in the mall. You know, I put the bloody mask on. I'm like pretending to shop in the Macy's. Shani, do you know why I picked the Columbus, Georgia? Do you know why? I was like, no, dad, I don't know why. And he was like, have you heard of the Ruby Tuesday? Do you know about the Ruby Tuesday? Have you heard about the Ruby Tuesday? And for filming purposes, Ruby Tuesday is an American restaurant franchise that as if your grandparents forgot what seasoning was, cooked a bunch of food, froze it, and shipped it to Ruby Tuesday, okay? <laughs> it's not fine dining, people. And he goes, yeah, 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 that's a Ruby Tuesday. So here's the thing. All of the Ruby Tuesdays, they're like going out of business. They're like going bankrupt. They're all closing down. And the nearest open Ruby Tuesday to me is in Columbus, Georgia. And I had a $35 gift card. <laughs> so I thought I better use this bloody gift card before this place closes down. So now I am in the Macy's, I'm like pretending to shop, and then Dan walks by, and I'm like, hey man, I don't know about you, but I'm a little hungry. I know a fantastic place we can get lunch. And so we went to the Ruby Tuesday. That's the thing with my parents, y'all. They came from a war-torn country, Sri Lanka. And so when they came to North America, they had to be a bit scrappy, right? They had all these life hacks. And I didn't know they were life hacks. Like, I thought everyone's soap had Holiday Inn Express on it. <laughs> I thought Howard Johnson was a brand. 
My mom even had a hierarchy when it came to the hotel soap. She was like, don't use that Crown Plaza soap. <laughs> We're saving that. We have people coming next week. <laughs> My parents, they never bought Tupperware. Never bought Tupperware. You open up our fridge, there's yogurt containers, there's margarine containers. You know why you can't believe it's not butter? It's because it's goat curry. That's what's in that container. That's what's in there. My dad's favorite thing to do is to go to Taco Bell. He'll be like, let me get two soft tacos. 50 fire sauces. <laughs> Put them in the bag. <laughs> I actually grew up in Canada. What? That's what you thought when you saw this melanin. <laughs> and the craziest thing with Canadians is they make immigrant stuff sound so cool. Immigrant life sounds so cool. I came home and I was like, Mom, Lauren and them are going camping. Can I go camping? And she was like, let me get this straight. You're going to go out in the wilderness. No electricity. No plumbing. Why did I even leave Sri Lanka? <laughs> Came home another day and I was like, Amanda and them are going to the apple orchard to pick apples. Can I go? And my dad was like, okay. You're going to drive somewhere? pay twice the cost of the apples, and you have to pick them yourself? <laughs> Here's the thing, okay? Next week, Publix is having a sale on red delicious apples, 49 cents a pound. I'll let you pick the apple. <laughs> I mean, they tried, because you have these immigrant parents, we're in a Western country, and so they really tried to blend holidays. Right? Like, my dad's mind was blown about Halloween. When he found out about it, he was like, Mahesh, give these kids some pillowcases. The white people are handing out free things again. <laughs> but some holidays didn't get quite right. And then my mom told me, Shani, Shani, Timmy's Easter Bunny, it comes on time. Your Easter Bunny comes four days later. <laughs> It's 75% off. <laughs> Eat that chocolate bunny, it's going to expire pretty soon. <laughs> when I was seven, I so badly wanted a Christmas tree. And my parents had been wrapping gifts and putting them in the oven, and my mom would be like, Santa Claus left you some presents in the oven. <laughs> and finally, they bought a fake Christmas tree. Yes! <laughs> 36 years old, <laughs> they're still using the same fake Christmas tree. <laughs> and it's decorated with 75% ornaments. <laughs> and if you know anything about a 75% off ornament, it makes no sense. We have a nativity scene, we have a dreidel. I'm, we're Hindu, by the way. <laughs> My mother's favorite ornament is of a black child praying. And it says, first daughter of 1994. <laughs> I was their first daughter of 1986. We don't have any black kids in the family. It's crazy, it's crazy. One of the things that my mom always prided herself on was asking for things because she came from a country where you bartered. And luckily in Canada, we had a large Tamil community. And so we had Tamil grocery stores. And my mom loved to go to the back and bargain with the guy that sold fish. She'd be like, how much per pound for this fish? And the guy would give a price. And she'd say, how much per pound for the fish without the head? And the guy would give a price. And she would say, how much per pound for just the head? And I was like, are we even eating fish now? Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> and she would take so much pride that she got a really good deal. You know where that concept doesn't work? Ashley Home Furniture. <laughs> My mom rolled up there, she was like, let me get the mirror, not the dresser. Let me get the headboard, I don't do the rails. She did not come home with that mirror. 
Once, they were getting new iPhones, and I happened to be in town. And so they showed up at this AT&T place. My dad had like a stack of documents, like he was crossing the border. He's like, two iPhones, please. <laughs> and this college student went to the back to go get the iPhones, and he came out. And my mom sashayed up to him. <laughs> and she was like, last time when we got the iPhones, there was like a promotion, you gave me a free candle. Where's my free candle? <laughs> And the college student's like, I don't have a free candle for you, for you. She's like, come on, man. The iPhones are really expensive. You should give me something for free. <laughs> and so uh, the college student was like, well, I can give you a free, mean air guitar. And my mama was like, yeah, give me one of those. <laughs> and so I looked at her and I was like, do you even know what that is? And she's like, no, but he said it's free. <laughs> so the college student stretched it out. And he was like, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. <laughs> And my amma looked at him and she said, I don't want that. <laughs> like as if she had a receipt.